Guys, what's up? Charlie Pang is here. So today I want to show you guys how I take a drawing and turn it into a vector shirt design. But we're not just designing, guys. We're actually going to think about the garment a little bit more today, okay? What kind of garment and fabric are we going to be printing on, right? That's all the things that are going through my brain um, when creating a design because I think that's important when you own a clothing line to kind of think about the entire picture versus just a little piece, which is just designed, right? So we're thinking about the bigger picture today. And I found a really awesome blank from Bella Canvas. They're my go-to wholesale brand because all their stuff is made with high quality cottons, especially with their heirloom ring spun cotton. And um, they have a bunch of different blends that are just out of this world. So I went with one of their blanks. It's called the 3001. Uh, it's in storm color. It's not too light and it's not too dark. It's kind of in between. Um, so I thought it looked really good with black ink and that's kind of my goal for this. So anyway, we're going to hop into Illustrator now. I'm going to walk you guys through how I created this uh, design from scratch, starting from a drawing and turning it into a vector shirt design. Let's go. So now that I'm in Illustrator, you guys can see that I have this owl sketch and notice that I only have half of the owl done, right? And that's on purpose. I don't want to have to focus on the whole design. I want to just design half of it and flip it, right? Flip it and um, finish it up that way. And it's just a lot easier to work with. So that's the rough sketch. And then if we move over, this is going to be the final. And as you can see on the bottom left here, I have the final. Um, so you guys can see like a little glimpse of it. And then on the far right, we have the actual mock that we're going to be using by Bella Cam so now what I would like to do is I would like to just zoom in on the artboard a little bit more because it's kind of hard to see when you're too zoomed out and then we're just gonna grab our pen tool we're gonna make sure it's an outline and we're gonna make sure it's eight thickness because that's what we decided to go with so this is where it gets really fun uh, now we can take that pen tool and we can just kind of trace around the design and that's what the sketch is for it's there to kind of guide us and we can kind of steer away from the path a little bit but it's good to kind of stick with the drawing that you originally had uh, because you liked it obviously right you chose it for a reason so um, we're just gonna start laying down some lines now. So I'm gonna go right here. So as you can see, I'm really trying to follow that path um, as much as I possibly can. Close this off right here. So that's the first part. It's really pretty easy. Um, once you get the hang of it, you'll breeze through this, no problem. Um, and then we can make minor adjustments if we're not happy with it. I think that's fine for this video, so we're just gonna go with it. We have a lot of stuff to do, so we're just gonna go through it kind of. So now we're just gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna close it off yet, so I'm just gonna click right below the other line that we made. And we're just gonna start tracing over or laying down some lines over the bottom uh, of the eye hair. And we're just gonna do it until we're happy with it. So I'm just gonna continue to lay down these lines. Um, nothing really special here, guys. I'm just kind of trying to stick with the drawing, like I said. I wanna, I wanna try to stay as true as possible to what I originally did. Um, now what we can do is we can add a line to this beak and we can kind of make it go down here and uh, we can close this off as well. Um, this one, we could just draw some lines real quick. Um, we could draw a bigger one and I like to do boxes for these and you'll see why in a second. Once you get that first rectangle, you can actually duplicate it. And then um, to duplicate things, all you do is you hold an option on your Mac if you have one. I forgot what it was on PC, so if you know, leave it in the comment section below for everybody else to see it. Um, so anyway, I drew out one rectangle and I just duplicated it and I can use it for the other wing. And um, these are a little thick, so I'm just gonna thin them out a little bit just by kind of uh, resizing them, transforming them. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna duplicate it and then drag it down just like so. So what I like to do now is round some corners just to get the shapes that we're looking for. Um, I'm gonna go to my direct selection tool and I'm just gonna select some of these points. So I'm gonna select the right side of this point and there's a perfect wing right there already, guys. And I'm just gonna do that for all the other boxes. Um, as you can see, this one's a little too long, so we're just gonna drag it down. So we're just adjusting it now, guys. That's all we're doing. We're just making minor adjustments to this until we're happy. I'm not sure what I wanna do with the tail yet, but we're just gonna have fun with it for this video. So I'm just gonna kinda um, give it a little bit of an arc. I'm gonna close that out, and we're gonna give it a little bit of roundness as well. And um, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. That's looking pretty good in my opinion. We're gonna draw out the eyes. I'm not even sure what I did with the eyes actually, so I might have to go back and look at it. Yeah, see, I made the eyes pretty big, it looks like. So we can make those eyes really nice and big, exaggerate them a little bit if you want to. Now I'm not gonna do the whole design here today, guys, because it is a, a big design and it takes a lot of time, as you guys might imagine. Uh, but this is just to get you guys thinking how I think. This is how I approach design. Um, and, and you guys might have a different way of doing it, but this is the way I do it, so hopefully it helps you guys out. So for this part, I zoomed in a little bit. I don't want the top of the eye to show, so we're just gonna take the scissors and cut it real quick. It's actually a really, really awesome tool to use, and you can do some really cool things with it like this. So we're just gonna get rid of the parts we don't want, and we're gonna delete them. 
So as you can see, we're left with just the eye part now and that's perfect. We just wanna draw one more circle for the center of the eye and um, we can leave it just like so. So that's basically it. Now we have all the line work. The next thing I would like to do before flipping it is just add the feather detail. So we're gonna take the pen tool and kind of make this cool little shape and we're gonna duplicate it and put it on the other ones as well. So once you duplicate it for all the other feathers, you can also uh, do some minor adjustments to it if you're not happy, but I'm happy with it. I don't think it looks bad at all. Uh, so we're just gonna go with it and um, see what happens. So now what I would like to do is just group everything. So from there we can use a reflect tool to duplicate it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna go to copy and um, if we hide the guidelines now, you can see that we have the owl. It's a little wide though. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. It's easy to like mess that up. Um, we can easily fix this so it's not a big deal, but this is to get you guys thinking about how I do things. Um, for the next parts, um, it's really just adding some um, extra details and all that stuff. So we're not gonna get into that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how I kind of do that process. Um, the only other thing that we're missing is the sun on the top, which is really easy. You just add a circle. Um, just like this and then you can finally use the scissor tools to cut it So from there I would add the sun rays and then I'd probably go to the tail and I would select the bottom parts And I would round it a little bit just like so and then I would add those uh, V patterns to his chest But that's it guys. It's uh, really up to you what you want to do with it Just remember you can easily use the pen tool to create a design. You don't need anything complicated, right? It's really simple You can sketch something on paper take a photo of it with your phone Put it on the computer and use the pen tool and have fun with the shapes guys Simple as that. Um, so now what I would like to do is I wanna take this design and we're gonna drag it to the mock and I'm gonna show you guys what it would look like on the shirt. So what I wanna do now is go to my actual owl design that I have over here. We're just gonna select it and we're gonna paste it on top of our uh, model here. And you can make it any size you want on the shirt. This is really where the fun happens. You can kind of decide how big you want it. I think it looks really nice uh, big on the chest. I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm really digging that. From here, you can even lower the opacity if you want just to make it look like it kind of blends a little bit better. So we could do like a 95 opacity. Let's see what that looks like real quick. So we went 95. It looks like it's uh, belonging to the shirt a little bit more. Just like that guys, we took a drawing and we turned it into a vector shirt design and we're keeping that blank in mind, right? We're keeping the garment in mind. Uh, we don't just want to design. We actually want to take a closer look at how our design is going to be printed and what it's going to be printed on because at the end of the day, isn't that what matters? Our clients, our customers that buy our merchandise care about that. They care about how it feels on and you really want a good quality product. Um, I chose the 3001 from Bella Canvas in Storm Color, one of my favorite colors. It's an awesome color um, besides black because all I do is wear black but besides that you guys definitely have to check out Bella canvas in the links below they have their YouTube channel with a wealth of information that you guys can't get anywhere else if you guys are into the clothing industry in any way you guys got to go subscribe to them and also don't forget to check out their image gallery they have a bunch of high quality mock-up images that you can use for your designs they look awesome as well so definitely check it out you're not losing anything but anyway that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed it be sure to let me know in the comment section below um, I'm always curious curious to see what you guys think about my content. I'm trying to get better for you guys and teach you more and more every single time. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and guys, of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.